Welcome in to another edition of the Rawlings MBC First Pitch, and our stop today resides in Murray, Murray State's Dan Skirka joining us. Off to a 10 and 10 start, Coach, so it's a little bit uneven, certainly not what you're used to, especially compared to last year, back-to-back 30-win seasons, but you've been hot lately. Tell us about how you've been playing. Yeah, you know, we've actually played pretty well, you know, most of the season. You know, we, we went on the road the first two weekends down south, a um, couple good opponents that were just – a little bit more prepared than us with with weather and everything, and and we lost some close games, and and the guys kept fighting, getting better, uh, and then the last three weekends at home, we've been able to win series. So pretty happy with where we're at. And especially this past weekend against Southern Indiana, you kind of comboed playing really well, piling up a lot of runs, and also you were able to honor three seniors. It's interesting you did that early in the season with the three young men that you honored this weekend. Yeah, I, I stole that stole that from one of my uh, coaching friends at Murray State, soccer coach. He just talks about the the emotions of senior day and everything going on later in the year. So we like to kind of get it early, get the parents on campus. Um, you know, not not necessarily get it out of the way, but but honor them. You know, especially as you start getting into conference play and and things start happening. But uh, you know, they're they're three awesome dudes, great great people, great players, very important to our team. Uh, so so it was a good weekend to honor them. You won five in a row now, Coach, and six out of your last seven. What's What's been the key? What's been the catalyst for you guys? Well, a little bit of everything. You know, we, we talk about throwing strikes and and taking care of the baseball. You know, everything that, that championship teams do, uh, grinding out at bats. We're getting a little bit healthy. Um, Drew Vogel, our shortstop, uh, you know, one of our, our key pieces has been hurt, and he came back on Tuesday. So he's played the last four games and made some phenomenal plays, turned some double plays. So, um, you know, really just that, you know, nothing nothing crazy, but just just playing good baseball. You know, I've noticed that Carson Garner has been a really good run producer for you. Maybe not so much Sunday. He's more of a table setter on Sunday when you win yeah. 13-3. But between him and Seth Gardner, I know Seth Gardner probably didn't have the batting average that he wants, but he knows how to drive in runs. He drove in 11 this past weekend. Two pretty good guys at the top in the middle of your order. Yeah, you know, it, and we like our lineup. You know, when we're healthy and, and you know, one through nine, we we talk about, you know, some days it's it's important to to take your walks and be a table setter, like you said. And, and other days you're asked to drive in runs. You know, Carson Gardner has been hitting in the middle of the order and usually there's guys on base and he's got to drive them in. But this weekend I was proud of him. He was he was disciplined. He took his walks and then the guys down the line got to drive him in. So that it was it was definitely fun to watch. You know, Logan Bland and, and Ethan Kreisen have really been hitting down in our eight nine hole. Um, and both of them, I think, are hitting over 300 and just just driving in runs and coming up with big hits. So, yeah, you know, as a lineup, I, I like where we're at right now. And it's always nice when you got a horse on the mound like Jacob Pennington. Uh, anytime you can get a, a run shortened or a, a run rule complete game, those things are going by the way of the dinosaur. But when you got a horse like him, it's nice to have him at the top of the rotation, isn't it? Yeah, that's actually two weeks in a row. I think he's gone complete game. The week before, we played a doubleheader and, and ended up playing uh, and it seven inning extra inning game and he went eight um and but yeah he's just he's just competing you know I I've I've loved Jacob Pennington on our on our roster just for that fact when when he gets the ball man he just kind of transforms into a competitor and just throws strikes and 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 just like you said it, it sets the tone for the weekend for our team on Friday when he goes out there and just just does what he does and as I mentioned, the last couple of years in the OVC, you win 30 games back-to-back seasons. So coming into the Missouri Valley Conference, you got to feel more excited than anything. Plus, you played Valpo in Illinois State last year, so you get an idea of what Valley baseball is like. Talk a little bit about uh, maybe the, the chip on your shoulder that, that your guys may or may not have going into the Valley and wanting to kind of take the Missouri Valley by storm for the first year. Yeah, you know, the guys are very excited about it. Um, you mentioned we played a few of the teams. We, we also play Evansville and, and Carbondale every year in the midweeks and and pretty much have split with them historically. So, um, yeah, they're excited, you know, play some new teams, um, go to some new cities, playing some new ballparks. Um, you know, the competition is going to be great, you know, team team one through team 10. Uh, so we're excited, you know, that definitely, uh, you know, see where we stack up. Like I mentioned, we're getting healthier. Um, guys are Guys are feeling good. So definitely excited going into the weekend. Well, you hit the nail on the head. Continued good health to you this weekend and beyond, and we'll talk to you down the road, okay? Appreciate it, Shane. All right, there's our most recent edition of the Rawlings MBC First Pitch. Join us next week when we talk UIC baseball.